Welcome back to Iratus, Lord of the Dead, folks. We are, I think, in big trouble in this, uh, in this run through, but if you just walked through the first try, then it wouldn't be difficult, right? So, and basically, if it isn't difficult, it isn't fun. So, I'm okay with not being able to get all the way through on this first run of uh, Iratus. But, of course, we, we want to get there eventually. Now, I will say that while I have been traveling for the last week, I installed Eratus on my laptop and I was playing a bit on a private run. So I have unlocked a few new characters. So I have unlocked the Blood Phantasm and the Lost Soul. I don't think we had the Lost Soul before. Not sure, but the Blood Phantasm I have certainly unlocked. But there are still a few to go. So uh, we, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Eventually. But if we take a look at creation here, we are pretty low on parts, but the ones that we have at least are uh, uncommon. So, so that's good. Most of them anyway. So yeah. So, so that's something. We, in the graveyard... It's not looking too good. All I have unlocked is one excavation and one arena. We could really do with unlocking one more excavation, another library, another mortuary spot. Uh, so yeah, we, we really need to get some stuff uh, unlocked. And I don't want to use this wraith to unlock another spot because the wraith is level two. So let's see, can we create another wraith? No, we cannot. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing missing a lot of exoplasm, two exoplasms, and a dust. So yeah, that's not gonna be possible. In uh, alchemy, we can't really do much at the moment. I don't think. I don't think. Cause yeah, we we just don't have enough stuff to do it. In artifacts. I have. We have the grappling hook, which is really nice, but we also have the lancet, which gives us more parts. So I think we're going to have to use the lancet to, to try and get some more parts going. We have this weird group of a dark knight, a banshee, a bride of Eratus, and a lich. So, yeah. And I'm not sure, do I want the lich in the back row? Hmm. I think I do. I think I do. So two level threes and two level twos. We have a couple of half dead zombies here. We have the almost dead uh, wraith there. We have a reasonably well off uh, bride of Arachis there. And then we have a half dead skeleton as well. So yeah. Whoops, I want the skeleton back in there. Back in there, skeleton. Get me some parts. The cat is going crazy playing. But it is what it is. It can be a little bit loud sometimes. But we're going to jump in here. We're basically two fights off uh, the boss. And I am not at all sure that we're going to be, be making it out of here. But we'll see. So let's jump into a battle here and see what we can do. Maybe, uh, Ow! That hurt. We have the Mad Mage, we have the Doomsayer, we have an Elite Guard and a Guard. Alright. So, we could actually focus on stress here. Yeah. You know what, let's focus on stress. Let's see uh, who has the least. least. You do. So let's shoot, shoot him. And then we'll do this. Keep off all of them. Ow. Then we will. I think we'll put in a toxic cloud on this guy. And... 
I think we'll put him in a stance for now. Now they have three goals. Banshee is already half dead. Sucks. Okay. So let's do more stress damage to this guy. Nice. That pushed him back so he came into the cloud. Do we have anything? Moves the target to a random position. I like that. So let's back. hit you. Get him some fresh damage as well. He wants to escape, that's good. We marked him. Let's uh, get let's get back into our stance here. Ow, 16 crit. Okay. When it's your turn, we'll put a cloud on you. Yeah. Nice. Decay. Move them so extinction. We take some more damage, very good. We will I think we'll just yeah. damage you. Nice heart attack. That pulls him in there. Giving him some damage. Gonna escape soon. So let's focus on one of the others. Let's focus on the elite guard, get him down. Also pushes him back so he goes into the cloud there. Let's put a toxic cloud here. Alright. He escaped, that pulls those two forward. So they'll be taking stress damage. Why did not they not take stress damage from that? I have no idea. Okay, so let's give this guy a hollow stare. Nice. And we'll do a warning shot on you. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Pulls him into the cloud. <coughs> Pushes him into the cloud, I should say. Ow. I think we're going to have to do an abysmal hunter here. Fill up a bit. And then... Oh, you can't do that. Hmm. I guess we'll... Put that on you. Move you into there. You are now down. And then we'll put a toxic cloud over here. He's insane. Surprised that this guy isn't insane yet. Ashes to ash. Died. Very dust nice. To dust. Okay. This isn't going to move him anywhere, but it did kill him. Okay. Mop up the gore. So My we took quite a bit of damage there, but we won. We didn't fertilizer. lose a unit. So that's good. We got a humanorium token. Some. Architect souls and some stuff. Very good. We got an exoplasm there. Our wraith is back. And the Bride of Arats is leveled up. I think. Let's have a look. Did you level up? No, you did not. Stay in there. Actually, let me just have a quick look at you. You're one away from leveling up. Okay. Go there. Our Wraith is fully healed, we'll stick in our Banshee. Yeah, and we'll get our Wraith into the squad. Let's see, front two, back two. First, front three. Buff, that's actually very nice. And the stress attack with all opponents randomly swap positions. That's really nice together with the Lich. Hopefully the Lich is not doing too well. The Lich is not doing too well. And any enemy in the cloud loses all armor and resistance. That's actually very nice. But this is very nice too. Hmm. 
Get the cloud back there. to battle. All right. But that will put him in because we need him to use that ability, and that puts him in the third position. He's half dead. That is not good. See, can we make another wraith? Nope. We only have one ectoplasm, and we have no dust. Can't really make anything that's use useful here. I really don't want to take the lich out. I really don't. And I don't want to take the Narc Dark Knight out either. Hmm. I think we're going to go with a bit of a haphazard squad here. Something like this. It's going to be a physical, a very physical squad. Maybe I should make a skeleton and stick in there. I think I will. Two evasion, plus two accuracy, plus one dread, plus two vigor. I'm okay with that. Mm, humans become much sturdier when you strip them of their vital I'll stick you there. Do we have any brains? I don't think so, nope. Hmm. Okay. So let's jump back into the dungeon. Oh, wait a minute. We have a talent point. This is a mistake that I've made. I think I put two in alchemy, one in magic, one in ire, one in destruction. I should focus it. I think I should focus it. Okay, so what can we do here? We could get a relic seeker, and I think Your I will. Your formulae reveal their secrets. All right, so we're going to battle against these guys with a bit of a weird group. Bit of a weird group. That's fine. Let's go. Oh, did I put something in the graveyard? I did the Banshee. That's fine, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Alright. Let's go to the dungeon. Select our weird squad and get going. I really shouldn't be taking the Wraith out with this squad, but I don't feel like I had much, much of a choice. I think I'll wait with you, because I, I'd like to interrupt some stances here. And the magic attack here will be on you. Okay. Ow. 11 crit. Alright. We went into a defensive stance there. We can push him out of that by doing kill, this. My darling, kill! Alright. And then I think we'll go with even more powder to try and get a big hit off on one of these guys. That pushed him into the front line. That's okay. For now. Right. So he just light him up, but we can push him, can't we? No. Hmm. I think we're screwed here. I think we're screwed. Ah, oh, but that pushes him, but it did not interrupt his stance. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. I wanna smite you. Alright. So, all opponents randomly swap positions. I hope I can push him backwards. Don't go forwards. Thank you, he's all the way at the back. Very good. Let's cannonball you. 
71. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, but it... Damn it, I need to push him one back somehow. Before he explodes, and I'm not sure I can. I am not sure I can. I can't. Damn it. Almost <laughs> down. Okay. This is what a so lost the skeleton of evolution looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Pathetic. I can live with losing the skeleton. I can live with losing the skeleton. more powder here in the next turn hopefully get a really nice hit off I'll set you on fire okay. and a magic attack here and then a cannonball hopefully to finish it off Oh yeah, 96 crit. Very nice. Oh, Alright, so we won. We lost the skeleton. That's okay. World ahead of schedule. We did get an ectoplasm, which is very good. A couple of rags, a brain, and nobleman's garb. I have to check out what that is. What, what it does. Another ectoplasm. The banshee got healed and the bride did level up this time. Let's have a look at artifacts first. Irritus gains 20% more parts after battle if four minions were at level three or better. Well, it's not relevant oh, right now, fetchy. but I think it actually will be in the next battle. Maybe. Let's see, the zombie leveled up. So what do we want to do with him? He only has initiative three, so more initiative could be good. So, look at the bombardment. So standard 50% physical damage. This does 60% and we get plus 2 initiative. This does 50% magical damage. Right, now, I'm going to grab that to get the plus 2 initiative so on it. And then we have creation. We still can't create anything. Basically. We can create a bride and a lost soul, and that's it. Terrific. Okay. So, if we go to the graveyard, we have this bride, which is now level 3. So, that's something. And then we have the banshee, which is only level 2, but we can put a level 3 brain in there. We got that now. But it won't matter, we won't be getting the effects of that robe anyway, unfortunately. So the bride here will get... Hmm. Interrupt stances. I think I want this. I think I want this. Just do a critical hit will deal 250% damage. That's actually really nice. Critical hit will stun the target for one turn. That's really nice too. But I think we're going to focus on this I one for now. Expect results. Okay, you're going. In the back. Then we have the Lich, which is going in fourth or third position. Or do we want to take out the Banshee instead? We're up against the boss, mind you, so taking a half dead Lich is probably not the best idea. It's probably not the best idea. Okay. All minions gain plus six dread. 
on when enemies lose four attack for their next action. It moves the target to a random position. Now that's really nice to combine with the Lich's Cloud, but we're not bringing out both. I think we're gonna have to do this. And the Banshee wants to be in... Yeah. Banshee wants to be in third or fourth position. Third, preferably. So we'll leave her there. I think the Wraith is okay in the second. Can't do this one, which sucks. Uh, we can do the curse. We can do the buff. We can do the trap. And we can do the ultimate tear away which moves everything randomly so if we put the banshee into the stance here she'll do 13 to 14 stress damage to any enemy that moves and if we use our ultimate here then all random opponents randomly swap positions which means that everyone moves and she does stress damage to everyone I like that idea. Alright, we're going to go with that. Uh, I need something in here. I think it will be this bride. I need something in here. Uh, hmm. Suppose it will be the Lich. Suppose it will be the Lich. Okay. And we have the half-dead skeleton in there, which is level 3 actually, so I would like to get that healed up at some point as well. Okay, we don't have any talents. The artifacts are what they should be. Except, you know what, I think I'm going it to do this my for this features. boss battle. Yeah, give us a bit more luck, accuracy and evasion. And let's... Uh, have a go at the boss. Yeah. Let's do it. The keys in his possession granted this man great purpose. For a bribe and a favor, he was willing to carry missives around, arrange fights, and allow gangs of criminals to quietly murder their competition while they slept. He saw himself as a king, and the keys were his crown. As long as they were needed, he was, he was needed. But the undead care not for the jingling metal, and for the man himself, they will have no need at all. Okay, let's go to battle. Okay, there's the key master. He has three block and three, what's it called, wards. So we need to get rid of those. We need to get rid of those. And the way to do it, I guess uh, this is only the front two. So let's do this. Maybe we directed it, buff that guy. So, hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's do that. Give him plus six red for the rest of the battle. Does pull him out of position though, which sucks. I had not noticed that. And this guy doesn't have anything that moves him forward right now. So... I think we're going to have to move back with him. Get a bit of mana there, and then he can go forward next time. We'll do this stress attack, I think. Keep up, everyone. Nice. Okay, he's buffing. And okay, we're going to interrupt his stance for sure. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, that pushes him back one. So that makes him able to do that. But I want her into her stance first, if we can get her there. So you're gonna wait. You are going to move forward. There we go. And I want you into a stance. And you can't do that. Dang it. Hmm. Right, let's do this. <laughs> Your cries are music to me. He's insane now, at least. I would have loved to get her into the stance before this, but it just wasn't possible. I need the Wraith to move forward somehow. Okay, we can do that. So that's plus 12 dread he has now. So we won't get her into this stance in this turn. You know what, we're going to go with a chilling whale. Give everyone plus 8 dread for their next turn. Good, I think. Ouch. Our wraith is more than half dead. That is really, really bad. Keep off on him. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. I think. Get rid of that last ward. Then you are going to go into your stance. Or are you? Are you going to Abyssal Hunger first? I think you're going to Abyssal Hunger first. Get healed up to full. Okay. Nice miss. Then... Hmm. He doesn't have his ward anymore, so we can start stressing him out. Stressing him out. You need to wait until next turn, <laughs> or until the end, because we want her to get into the stance first. And then we want you into your stance. Now you will make everyone swap position randomly. He dies so and that there you we go. Can live. All three of those are now. <coughs> completely out of sanity. Our wraith is almost dead. I'm gonna chance it and wait. All right, he's buffing. Unfortunately, our knight is out of his stance. You're going to go back into yours. You are going to stress him out. You're gonna abyssal hunger. We need you to heal up. And then you are going to go tear away and make everyone switch places. There we go. Oh man, I did not want all of them to die because now he's going to summon three new ones. But we do have him halfway down. We're going to go into your stance again. Unfortunately, attack him. I wanted the other guy. Then 
We don't have enough for this. So we're going to... Oh, can't do that. Dang it. Hmm. Okay. This will curse you too. And you'll go into your stance. This doesn't mean that we're going to lose the race now. Yep. Which is really bad. Hmm. going to go back into your stance. Hopefully the key master will buff and we will stress everyone out a bit there and give them minus four attack. Okay. And he's stunned, damn it. This will be your end. And of course now that he's stunned the key master does his buff thing. This is not going as well as I would have liked. Okay, taking a turn. He's debuffed. More debuffing. And he's buffing. Hmm. Stop redirecting. Mm. I think we'll try this again. And she missed too. Terrific. And you go into your stance. Hopefully he'll buff again. I kind of doubt it though. Kinda doubt it. Yeah. Man! It's like he's saying, oh! You want me to buff my guys, so I won't. Special hunger. Alright, we can trade at least. See, now the knight is not in the stance and he buffs. That burgeoning hope disgusts me. Okay. We are definitely losing this fight. We are definitely losing this fight. He's half dead. All right. And again, no stance. That's buff guy. You know what? Let's try this again. Stance. See what happens. He missed at least. Frail, nice. Ah, your frail body's fail. Now he's in the stance, so he doesn't do it. That's. I'm gonna keep trying it. See if it's random that it doesn't do it, or it's because I'm in the stance. Alright, out of the stance, and now he's gonna buff. I'll bet you. And he missed. Hmm. Where 
gonna go back into the stands. She's basically dead. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. you entertained me. That's a bit of hunger. The problem with boss fights is that if you lose, when you come back, they are completely full again. I mean, Your frail bodies. They don't fail. retain their damage and, and so on. So, whatever we do now, it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna win. <laughs> With one dark. Carve open their hearts. That was a nice crit, though. <laughs> there we go. Death All right. Has been denied. For now. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And we can't really assemble another team at all. So I think that is going to be it for uh, this attempt. So yeah, but as I said, if you win the first time, then what's the fun in that, in, the, in these kinds of games? So we're going to give it another go in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.